Hey horse lovers, so I literally just woke up and it's gonna be a busy day at the barn. I have quite a few chores to do, I wanna ride. So with that being said, it looks like it might rain outside. So I'm gonna grab Cruella out of the pasture right now. She's waiting for me right at the gate. Um, and we're gonna go for a quick ride because I don't really feel like riding in the indoor arena. I wanna be outside. So let's uh, get her groomed, tack up and go for a quick ride. Cruella, you wanna go for a ride? Hey Jafar, hi. Wanna go for a ride? Yeah? Morning, Bagheera. How are you? All right, Cruella, let's go. I choose you. <laughs> All right, I got Cruella out. Groom and tack up. What do you think? <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna do a super quick groom so that we can get out in the ring and ride before it rains. Currently, I am using the soft brush on her. I'm just basically getting all of the dirt off of her. She's not too bad. She doesn't really need a curry because there's no caked in mud or anything like that. So I'm also getting the burrs out of her forelock. Oh, so bad this year. I cannot stand the burr bushes. But yeah, so we're just brushing. I'm gonna calm her mane and tail a little bit, give her some fly spray so that all the bugs stay off of her. And then of course, I'm gonna pick all four of her hooves. She's really good about picking up her legs. I love that. She's such a sweetheart really makes it easy. Now we're gonna tack up. As you can see, we are going for a hot pink theme today. I'm gonna use my dressage saddle on her today as well. And yeah, I can't wait. It's gonna be so fun to ride her, just to hang out in the arena, work on some stuff. Seems like she's gonna be a good girl today. Also, when you're tacking up, it's really important to pull your saddle pad up between the pommel. This is called tenting and it creates an airflow through the channel for the spine. I'm also gonna be using my anatomical girth on her as well. Now I'm gonna put her bridle on and I'm gonna use my cavalcade dressage bridle. It has rose gold accents. Ready to go ride. Ready? Let's go. Right now we're just warming up at our walk. So of course we're gonna do this for about 10 to 20 minutes. Cruella, if you do not know, used to be an ex-speed horse and she was not given a proper foundation. I've had her for just over a year now and she has come a long way. Of course, there's always room for improvement and she's not perfect, but she had a lot of emotional damage. Like she was really, really good and kind and sweet and quote unquote safe, but I mean damage to her foundation. She wasn't given the proper skills and they just basically caused a lot of tension, whoever owned her previously and just never taught her that it's okay to just have fun and relax. So that is what we've been working on for the past year. But she is an amazing pony and I always have felt very comfortable on her. And I just think she's absolutely adorable. So she definitely marches in her walk, which is good. We have a nice warm up, and she's calmed down so much. She used to be extremely forward and now she can just kick back, relax and enjoy what we're doing in the arena. Now she is epic out on the trails, amazing, but she doesn't love the arena as much, but she's beginning to understand that it can be fun too. Sometimes Cruella can still get a little bit quick, so we just recalibrate, do circles. I ask her to just stretch down, and she has improved so much. Before, she would have her nose straight up in the air. She couldn't balance at all, and she's still coming to find her balance. It truly takes five to seven years to develop true balance and collection in a horse, so you really need to keep that in mind. But in the last year, she's come very far, and I definitely think she's transformed, and I'm very proud of her. Again, I always have a lot of fun with her. She's been one of the most challenging ponies to ride. Not in the sense of like she's crazy or anything like that because I've never ever felt scared on her. I've never felt nervous. She's never like spooked or bucked or done anything like that. But it's challenging in, in terms of getting my horsemanship together and remaining calm and keeping my balance because riding a pony her size and shape is difficult because you have to post so much faster because the striding is smaller and just keeping the balance and 
keeping the rhythm and giving her what she needs with my aid. So it has been an amazing year and I've had a lot of fun, but yeah, it definitely has had its challenges as well. But she's an awesome mare and we've definitely built our partnership together and her canner is a lot better too. She used to canner like a llama. So <laughs> I'm just glad she's coming around. Today, my goal with Corella was to just do a little bit of flat work, walk, trot, canter in each direction, do a little bit of circling, and then just some poles and some really small cross rails. Now, you'll see us jumping in a little bit. Corella is no jumper, but she will pop over a cross rail here and there, and we just do them for fun. I mean, it may not be pretty, but we got over it. <laughs> I have so much fun with her, like just popping over these. She is hilarious. Now I'm just messing around and neck reining with her, just having fun as normal. <laughs> She's a good girl. Okay, I'm super sweaty, definitely humid out, but it's actually not like super hot. She did a really good job. You know, you just gotta take it day by day, but her arena work is definitely improving. She's really good at neck reining feel really confident with that and you know it takes a long time to work certain quirks out of um horses that haven't been started properly it's really hard actually so yeah all right now let's work with Mushu for a little bit after I cool her out and untack her and stuff With Mushu, I just did lunging today, some walk trot, both directions. Each session, we do something a little bit different or we'll focus on different things. But today, we're just going to do groundwork as far as just a little bit of lunging, a shorter session. And he's doing really well and he's very responsive. Really happy with him and how everything's going with him so far. So as you saw, I just finished my groundwork session with Mushu. He did so good. That was really fun. I'm glad that he's so intuitive. Uh, now it's time to feed the horses. So I put Cruella in the stall. I hosed her down after riding and Mushu's in here too. So I'm gonna start with feeding them and then Prince Charming and then we'll feed the other horses as well. All right, so Cruella barely gets any grain. This is just essential K. 
Um, so they get this for minerals and then a little bit of salt. And I'm going to soak it. Alright, so I'm going to bring a few of the other horses in and then the rest of them I'll feed outside. Alright, so I'm bringing in Gaston. Jiminy now, he's the boss. Now we got Mr. Miko, so he takes the longest to eat, so we're gonna feed him first. that are inside and then I'm going to bring Bagheera in and then feed the remaining ones outside. So Jiminy gets mad if he doesn't get like brought in first or fed first and he keeps like telling me, hey, I need my food. I need my food. So that's what he's doing right now. Are you mad you don't have your food yet? I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. You want your food? I'm getting yours too. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Watch your head. All right, so we're going to feed these three outside and I'll bring Bagheera in. So I'll feed Jafar first. He's the most dominant out of these three. So Olaf and Arlo basically get the same thing and Jafar gets a lot more and a little bit of oil, um, but he's more dominant. So it doesn't matter if they switch food, they won't get to Jafar, so it kind of works out. Figure out, I'm coming. All right, so I'm gonna take Prince Charming for his daily walk. He's been doing really well. We go to our follow-up appointment later this week. So I'm really eager to see the results and if we can go into our second phase of rehab. If you're not familiar with his injury or what I'm talking about, you can check out his video. It'll go over what we discovered, link in the description. And yeah, but he's doing so good. He's such a sweet horse. I can't wait till he's better. He's been doing really good with his rehab. So we go for our walks every day, like 10 to 20 minutes. And then he's iced every day as well, which I'll show you a little bit. The boy. All right, we had a good walk, didn't we? Were you a good boy? So we just walked around our little town for a little bit. <laughs> You're so funny. Walked around our town for a little bit and now he's just icing. Are you good? So we still have the blueberries. 
And then I just put this rump rug on to keep it in place and also to help with um, <clears throat> keeping it cool. So he'll stand here for a little while. Yeah, so I, I groom him every day. I'm gonna groom him in a little bit here. And we just spent time together. I know, did you know you're famous? Did you know everyone loves you? You're so cute. So yeah. Another really good thing is Prince Charming is standing square much more often. So posture is really big. <laughs> um, he's not resting his hind leg as much, which horses are gonna do that like in general, it doesn't always mean there's something wrong but he is standing square so much more often now. So that's a really positive sign, aren't you? So we go to the specialist this week, fingers crossed, wish us luck that he's improved and that we can go into our second phase of rehab. We'll see how it goes, um, but yeah, he's doing really good. So I'm gonna put him back into his paddock and yeah, I will be making an update video after we go to the specialist telling you exactly how it went, showing you a little bit and then giving you the results from that. So yeah, all right, you ready to go back? All right, I gotta sweep up the aisle now. It's mainly just shaving, so I am just gonna sweep it up into the stalls. And yeah, I mucked out a few of them from when the horses were eating, cleaned Prince Charming's paddock, and now it's time to sweep up. I'm gonna run to the store, take a little break, get a coffee, and then we have to clean all of the burrs out of one of the pastures. I am not excited about it. It's totally gonna to suck. So yeah, be back to do that soon. Before I run some errands, I gotta let my piggy out so you'll get to see her. Her name's Penelope. Penelope! Are you coming? Hi! Going to the barn? Penelope. I'm gonna go in the stall for a little bit. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Say hi, Penelope. Oh, you's a good girl. <laughs> you's a good girl. All right, you find all the leftover grain to eat. What do you think, Koa? What do you think? Is that your sister? <laughs> yeah. Not enough grain in that one? All right, Penelope. Pete. Where are you going? Which stall you wanna go in? Is this one good? No? Different one? All right, I'll be back in a little bit. Got water, okay? All right, now we gotta go clear all the burrs out of the pasture. I'm not excited about this. How about you, Koa? Koa? All right, so we're gonna put the burr bushes in the tractor bucket. There's not like a crazy amount, but enough to where it won't be fun. And we're gonna use, what is this called? We're gonna use the hedge trimmer and then I'm gonna pick them up. And I'm wearing this so that the burrs don't get in my hair because I tried doing this by hand and yeah, it wasn't working out for me. So gotta protect the luscious locks here.
making some headway. Um, we're just gonna take them back to the burn pile, dump them, and then obviously burn them. But yeah, we're making some progress. I'd say we're a little, we're almost halfway there. Go, 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 go. horses in here now they've totally overgrazed the other pasture um so it'll be good to get them in this one i think they'll enjoy it too and then i'm gonna eat because i'm super hungry and i haven't ate all day just had coffee come on guys come on look All right, horse lovers. Well, I am hungry and exhausted. It was definitely a productive day on the farm and I really hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification button so that you don't miss anything. Make sure you follow us on TikTok so you can see other content as well. Buy some merch and support us. Links are down in the description. Really hope you enjoyed horse lovers and I'll see you next time. Bye.